everyone, welcome back to another Seek Science Club video powered by Seek Foundation. And today we are going to dissect, guess what? A starfish! Oh no! Or maybe, oh yay! So let's go ahead and get started. What do you need? You need one of our STEM kits. And it is a monthly subscription that come with all the materials that you would need for this activity. So first things first, when we're doing dissection, we always need to make sure we have on the proper attire so that we do not get what? Hurt. So let's go ahead for step number one and put on our proper attire. Lab coat, check. Goggles, check. Pair of gloves, check. And if you have long hair, even though this isn't mine, just make sure you tie it back, okay? Step number one, well, we already did number one, duh. We're gonna take out our starfish and we are going to cut it open and see what parts of the starfish can we identify, right? What kind of place is this? So let's identify four parts of a starfish, magic porite, the central disc, the mouth, and maybe we can look at what is called two feet. Did you know that? Starfish, they actually have something called two feet. So let's get started. The central disc is right here. This is the front part. This is the back part of the starfish, which is also known as a sea star. And this is the front. So the central disc is this area right here. This is the central disc. And then you have the madriporite. It's a little light little circle. This little light little circle is right, it's hard to see it, but it's only one light little circle right there. You see that little light dot? Kind of looks like a mole. So that light little circle is the magic porite, and it helps to filter out water that comes in and out of the starfish, which is also known as a sea star, all right? So those are two things that we already know about a starfish. We know that it has a central disc, and I want you to tell me what you think that central disc stands for, and also the magic porite, which helps to what? Filter out water that comes in and out of the starfish, which is also known as a sea star. All right, let's go ahead and find the mouth and the two feet, but of course, it won't be good if we don't dissect to find something else. So we'll probably look for maybe a vein or stomach or something we'll do that okay so let's flip it over remember we're on the front which is the uh, central disc we're gonna flip it over if you look here you notice there's a little circle look like little spikes sticking out the little spikes are just like our teeth so that's the mouth this is the mouth part of our starfish okay so this helps it to grab what it needs to grab. And then when it's moving around, remember we mentioned something about two feet. When it's moving around, it uses these little, these little, little bubbles that you see on the inside here, right here. You see some, all of these, these are the two feet. It helps it to stick around on the rocks and things under the sea. See this inside here? These are the two feet, all right? You have them on, each side, the two feet right here, all right? So that's part, I guess you can say two and three. Now let's see what can we find. I think we should try to locate the stomach. So that means it's time for dissection. So let's get started. You need your scissors. You can use this too. And you might have a different tray where you have pins as well. So let's go ahead and try to locate the stomach. Gonna turn it over where the mouth is. So I'm gonna start for the mouth because it's, it already has an open part, so it's easier to cut um, from the mouth. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so if you notice here, 
These are digestive glands right here. Okay. These are glands for the digestive system. Now let's find the stomach. So this part here, this is the stomach. That's where all the food goes, right there. Stomach, let's see what's in there. Uh, nothing, died on an empty stomach. Hmm. Okay. So there's more parts that you can learn and explore, at least maybe five to seven that I remember um, within a starfish that's called a sea star. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little demonstration and I want you to go ahead and continue to explore because these are practical skills to learn the anatomy of a starfish and share with us. Share us videos, make sure you share pictures and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share with a friend. See you later, bye.